Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here today, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to flash over Surface ROM. So first of all, uh, we're going to go straight into download mode, as you can see, down, home key, and that. Um, and before we connect it up, we're just going to go on the computer, and we're going to open up stock JVQ, and I'll show you where to find that in just a second. But first of all, we're going to set it up, so I'm going to zoom in to help you guys understand. So as you can see, there's the file where JVQ is. So when you want to put PIT, you want to also tick repartition if it hasn't done it already. Um, PDA is code. Phone is modem. And CSC is CSC. Once all of that is done, we're going to connect our phone in. So just plug it in. And your computer should realize it's been connected and just hit start. So I'll get back to you guys after I'm on stock JVQ and uh, we'll go from there. Right, as you can see, Odin's just finished. Um, well, finished and uh, my phone has rebooted so we can unplug that and we can close Odin. Um, as you can see, I'm on Virgin Network right there so we can just do that. We can just go through setup very fast, we don't really care. Um, there we go, As you, I'm going to show you just I'm on stock JVQ. There you go, JVQ, gingerbread JVQ right there, 2.3.4. So there we go. Now what we want to do is put the speed mod um, kernel. So what we what we're going to do as it's not as the phone isn't rooted, we could root it by downloading super user, or we could go via Odin. And Odin is a pretty easy route to go through, so I'll just suggest going via Odin. So what we're going to do is um, uh, go back into download mode. So wait until the phone buzzes, so you can hear it down there. And on the computer, we're going to go and open up Odin. So back into your JVQ file, you'll find Odin. And that was the phone just vibrating. Um, and go find your kernel so you know it's there or download it. Speed mod kernel, again, I'll link it down um, and uh, you'll be able to find it. You don't have to do speed mod, uh, you can do any sort of other kernel. It's just because speed mod um, K15 IT9 is also included, included in the surface um, the surface ROM. Uh, this is V3.04 uh, with essential pack um, included. So well, anyway, what we're going to do is go and put uh, PDA. Go find our good old kernel, which is there it is, speed mod kernel. As you can see, I had semaphore. Um, I could have put dark core even, but uh, just save myself some trouble. I'm going to do that. So as the phone's vibrated, um, I'll take it down. Go into download mode, just like we did before. There we go. Connect it in. As you can see, over there it says COM4, so it's added in. And we uh, do not have to tick repartition or PIT or anything, just PDA ticked and hit start. It'll be very quick indeed. Unlike the ROM. There you go, already passed. And we're going to go back to the phone. As you can see, we can also disconnect it because of MTP application. We do not need that. And also, you can close Odin on your computer. Right, so I'm um, just going to check that speed mod is on there. As you can see down there, speed mod has been applied, which is great. So we're still on stock uh, JVQ, but we've got speed mod um, kernel in there. So that should be. Um, will enable us to access CWM. Uh, I was just checking if the extended recovery was there, but it's not, but it doesn't matter. Um, right, so now what we want to do is um, put the files into our SD card. So first of all, we're going to go into Applications. I'll take that just for future use. Development, USB debugging mode, OK. Right, so now we're going to connect our phone in. Drag it down. Hit that, connect to USB, OK. Go back on the PC. So as you can see, I had other stuff on here. So um, I'm going to delete all of these things. You can actually just wipe your internal SD card, which is another option. I can do that right now quite easily. You can either just format it via your computer, or I'll just show you how to do it, just in case you wanted to do it anyway. So I'll format my SD card for you. Um, go away, stupid rotation. <laughs> Take GPS off. 
Um, to format your SD card, go there. SD card phone storage. As you can see, that's my external. My internal is USB storage. I'm going to format that. Now there's nothing in the internal SD card. Well, obviously, just a normal, uh, normal folders that come with any Android device, so to speak. So right. So now we're going to connect that back in. But as I said, you don't really have to do that. I only did that just because, in case you wanted to do it. Right, so it took a while to load. There's my Intel and SD card now, as you can see. Copy across that. And also copy across these two kernels. We don't really need speed mode because it can be included anyway, but um, seeing as I'm doing this, I might as well do it all in one. So disconnect. And you can check if it's your, in your internal SD card or not um, by going... Where is my files? There you are. As you see, they're the, they're the four files. One, two, three, four. And there's my external, and that's the random ones which come usually with your Android device. So now we're going to switch off the phone. And this time, we're not going to go down on the volume, we're going to go up to, on the volume to go into clockwork recovery. Wait for it to vibrate. There we go. As you can see, this is a clockwork recovery. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to help you guys understand. So there you go. Right, so um, there's no need to do a factory reset, um, but uh, we'll do a wipe cache, and we're going to wipe the Dalvik cache as well, which should be here. There we go. Right. Um, I just checked there's speed mod. Yep, there we go. Right, um, so now we're going to go install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card, and as you can see, here's our three files that I added. Uh, obviously, the other two are kernel, so you can't see them. So we're going to go base wipe v 3.04 plus essentials. So that's the one as of the 27th of August. And there we go. So I'll get back to you guys after it's finished. Um, after it's finished flashing, shouldn't take too long. Right, so it's just completed. So as you can see, install from SD card complete. Go back and reboot system now. Right, so it's just uh, booted up and I've just gone into the settings and as you can see it's on a JVR baseband um, and there's my CSC that I can choose, lovely. Um, um, speed mod K15IT9 Surface V3.04 um, but um, we were suggested to do this via the XDA forum so first of all we're going to go app drawer Go to neutrality. Everything is quite small at the moment. It's quite weird. But uh, anyway, UI tweaks. Application scaling, that's what we want. And so once we've done that, we're going to hold the power key and power off. Right, so go back into clockwork. And what we're doing here is uh, checking that. Uh, lag fix has been enabled so first of all go to speed mod so you make it to ext4 yep. right that took uh, longer than I expected but there we go um, and now we're gonna go convert system file system there you go system conversion is on we can install other things as well for example um, the theme add-on. So what I'm going to do is go for the transparent theme add-on V2.01 and um, I'm going to apply that as well whilst I'm here and now we're going to reboot system now and when it comes to reboot system now I completely forgot but yeah ext convert to ext4 right so it's just booting up right now as you can see the um, uh, the theme is being applied because of this uh, Android lock screen because that wasn't there before uh, so we're just letting it do its media running things right there once that's finished we'll go in uh, as you can see it's a blue logo with um, with the standard icons right there and it's found my um, it seems like the CSC is okay for me um, in other words I don't have to change the CSC however for changing CSC um, uh, you can do that um, by going to the dialer and changing your CSC. As you can see it's um, very nice. It's uh, 
quite, how should I say, it looks like it's quite big, it's almost like it was designed for the Galaxy S2, but uh, everything looks very, very nice indeed. Uh, let's turn those on, um, I won't connect to Wi-Fi right now. So let's turn the rotation, and if it's going to work, it's on Zeme Launcher at the moment, so it's maybe just Zeme Launcher, it's not auto-rotating, but let's do sensor rotation. There you go. I actually love Zeme Launcher, by the way. It's one of my favorite launchers, well, not favorite, the favorite launcher that I love using. Um, so, yeah, it looks all very nice. Uh, all very small, though. <laughs> Won't be very good for my mum, but um, excellent for me, I think. But uh, I'll, I'll give it a try, and um, possibly in a couple of days, I'll let you guys know how I've been getting along. And, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, loads of things can be customized, by the way. Um, you know, the Zeme launcher, for example, for one. So, um, and obviously, you can change launcher if you so wish. And there you go. There's JVR, JVR, and JVQ CSC. So it's kept the CSC from a JVQ installation. So there we go. Um, and I'll just go ahead and just check out the CSCs which come out come with the come with the ROM. You'll need your IEMI number for this. Star hash two seven two star, and then your IEMI number followed with the hashtag at the end. And you can see we've got a lot of CSCs, which is absolutely excellent. I'm already on XEU. That's fine. I don't have to touch anything. But there's a whole load of list of CSCs, which is absolutely brilliant. I love it when ROMs have a load of CSCs because um, different people from different regions always are going to flash the, flash the ROMs. That's excellent. That's, that's I absolutely love that. Well done. Uh, well done for that. So yep, yeah, there we go. So you got excellent choice of CSCs, and uh, there's the there's the finalized ROM. Right. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And um, yeah, please do rate, comment, and subscribe. Totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.